Dr. Anderson is a noted fitness expert, wellness consultant, and pain management specialist. She practices what she preaches. <laughs> Again, the talk tonight is non-prescription, um, the non-MD stuff that you can do to treat your pain. Um, most pain doctors would not be happy uh, having me tell you the things I'm going to tell you. And if I do my job over the next couple years and get this message out, I figure um, I will have succeeded if I put myself out of business. So it's kind of the goal. Don't tell anybody what we're talking about tonight, okay? I see patients every day. Yes, I'm a pain doctor. And yes, my patients are in pain. But they also have high blood pressure and heart disease. They have all of these problems. And... I tell them, you know what, for your pain, for your heart disease, you've got to get moving. And I did this for years and years. And I, and I watched the faces, and everybody really wanted to listen, and they really did. They're like, I really want to do better. I really believe it. But they didn't know where to turn. And that's why I wrote the book. It's called Get Moving, Live Better, Live Longer. It came out last June. It basically goes step by step, chapter by chapter. It tells you how to fight the diseases that are plaguing you with exercise. Uh, it's an easy to follow, it's a step-by-step -step guide. There's illustrated exercises um, at the end of each chapter as far as the strength training. It tells you how to start. Most important, it tells you, I think most important for me as a doctor is, it tells you the precautions to take. If, if you have heart disease, do you don't exercise in the heat? When do you take your medicines in relation to when you exercise? All of those things um, are very important. Now, I know, like your doctor knows, and now you know, exercise is absolutely the best medicine. Right? Your doctor knows it, um, but I'm going to tell you as a doctor, I, I don't have time, and most doctors don't have the exercise expertise to get you started, right? Uh, you could go to a trainer. You go, okay, I'm ready. I listen to Dr. Ruth. I'm ready to rock and roll. Well, trainers are really good at the mechanics of exercise. They're good at putting a pin in a machine and getting you to work hard. But they don't have the medical background to help you exercise safely. And they don't know how to use exercise to fight disease. So the book is the link. This is the link. This is the link between your doctor telling you, you know, yes, you've got to exercise, and you're going, yeah, I'm ready, I'm going to rock and roll, and your ability to go do it. This is the link. For my pain patients, as an aside, um, I don't want my pain patients using a trainer. Uh, I honestly believe that everybody over the age of 50, not a good idea. Of my pain patients, every single one of them, I send them to a physical therapist. You want trained eyes on you if you're hurting. If you have bad back or knees or hips, you must get, have those eyes. And Medicare pays for it. You get the best of the best, and Medicare helps. So this is why you should care, because this is how powerful a tool exercise is. And you probably know a lot of this. I'm not going to belabor much of it. Two points. Exercise will prevent heart disease and high blood pressure in over half the population. Yet I told you just a few minutes ago it's the number one. That and heart disease, um, I mean, there are leading causes of death, right? You can prevent it. Even more important for us right here tonight is that if you're on high blood pressure medicine, 75% of you can come off with the correct exercise program. Exercise, we're, we're a land of immediate benefits, right? right? You want it now, you want a pill, you want it easy. Exercise, the very first exercise session will lower your blood pressure for 22 hours. The worse your blood pressure is, the worse, the worse control you're in, the better, the lower it goes, the better the results. So for me, I have a pretty decent blood pressure. I get just a little lowering after my exercise session, but somebody who's really out of control, their blood pressure comes down to near normal levels, stays there for 22 hours. You get on the right exercise program, and you're starting to drop off your meds. Now add into that the stress reduction and the weight loss and all the other things that happen. You're going to be coming down off your meds and off before you know it. And type 2 diabetes is the same way. You have to use diet with 
exercise to get, to get off your meds for, for diabetes. It's not just exercise, it's the two together. But again, it will lower your blood pressure. Exercise will lower your blood pressure after the very first session. So over and over, all of these things, exercise is a winner and there's no side effects. We'll get you down off your meds, save a little bit of money, buy a new Prada bag, and life is really wonderful.